Sadio Mane offered Liverpool and Jurgen Klopp an intriguing tactical option in Senegal display. Sadio Mane has been a staple on the Liverpool left since moving to accommodate Mohamed Salah. For Senegal, he showed Jurgen Klopp he can shine elsewhere. The international break often offers the chance to see Liverpool players deployed in unfamiliar positions. Last time out, Andy Robertson played a bizarre 45 minutes as a right wing back for Scotland. On this occasion, it was Sadio Mane and Senegal giving Jurgen Klopp something to think about. In his country's 4-1 win over Namibia, Mane was deployed as the number 10. Senegal are blessed with something of a golden generation at present, and there is no shortage of pace. Ismail Assar and Crapen Diata were tasked with the wide berths from kickoff. The latter was replaced in the second half by Keita Balde Diaw, no slouch either. With all of this speed on the flanks, it was left to Mane to exert his influence from the middle. To say he managed to do so would be an understatement. Mane was pulling the strings from the off, and within 10 minutes had provided the assist for the opening goal. Keeping his cool after receiving the ball in the box, he shoveled the ball to Idrissa Gay, who fired confidently into the corner. In truth, the Liverpool man should have got a goal for himself as the first half drew to a close. He showed that his pace could still be a weapon from central positions. Bursting beyond the defence to get one-on-one, -on -one, but his placed effort only found the post. However, Mane was quick to make amends. Early in the second half, he received the ball central and deep. Liverpool fans have rarely seen him in such a position, so what happened next was a pleasant surprise. He skipped deftly past one, two, three players, before curling the ball delightfully beyond the goalkeeper. It was the goal of an old school number 10, with the sprinkling of explosive pace that only a converted winger could bring to the role. Drifting wide from his central base, he got his second assist in the closing minutes. A teasing ball across the face was turned home at the back post by substitute Keita Balde. Demonstrating the benefits of accommodating Mane and other rapid wingers into the same lineup. It will not have escaped Klopp's notice that Liverpool are in a somewhat similar situation to Senegal. in the sense that Mane is one of many talented wingers in a team with no natural number 10.
The usual 4-3-3 does not require one, but the German has shown willingness in the past to accommodate all of his newly created front four. With Roberto Firmino serving as striker, Mohamed Salah and Diogo Jota both bring pace and trickery to the wings. Both have occasionally been seconded into the central berth amid Klopp's experiments with the 4 2 3 1. But Mane has made a convincing case to alter that arrangement. Flanked by Salah and Jota, and with Firmino ahead of him, he could cause the kind of chaos he wreaked for Senegal. Naturally, this all comes with the disclaimer that Mane was up against Namibia, a team ranked 106th in the world according to FIFA. There is a danger of ignorance seeping in when it comes to assessing them. They were the only other unbeaten team in the World Cup qualifying group prior to the defeat to Senegal, having beaten Togo and drawn with Congo. Equally, they rank higher than Kosovo, who boast the likes of Norwich City's Milit Rashika among their ranks and who gave England a difficult time in a 5-3 defeat not so long ago. Nonetheless, there is obviously a gulf in quality when compared to Liverpool's Premier League opponents. Even so, the performance will have been intriguing for Klopp. Particularly with Mane still firing plenty of blanks in the early parts of the campaign. Carrying on a worrying trend from last season, it might not be the worst idea in the world to try and emphasize his creative qualities. This would also guard against any loss of pace, a consideration that has to come into play as he approaches 30. FSG will have to make a decision on his contract situation soon. But if he is to remain at Liverpool for the long term then this could be a way of making it work. Jota is a slight doubt for the trip to Watford, having picked up a knock with Portugal. However, with Firmino not involved for Brazil, the foursome could plausibly all be available for the next match. With the usual midfield options heavily restricted by injuries, and by Fabinho's international commitments. Maybe it's time for Klopp to draw inspiration from Senegal and play Mane behind the striker in a 4-2-3-1.